your device right through the USB port. And beware, because this is not limited to cell phones. It can happen to any device that's capable of being charged through a USB plug. The airlines are also um, issuing a warning right now for people traveling that when you hook into these USB ports in the airports, be very careful. We want to bring in former CIA hacker and cybersecurity expert Eric Cole joining us this morning. Eric, good to see you. Thank you for giving us more information on this. So how do these hackers pull your private information from those USB ports? Uh, there's two ways they do it. One is it's very easy to walk up to any of these ports, remove the port that's there and put their own port there that has malware or a little hard drive. And the other scary thing is a lot of these are actually being embedded at manufacturing because during the manufacturing process, these are not like top secret devices that get a lot of protection. So when they're being manufactured, it's very easy for somebody to install some malware put some malicious code on there, and everybody that's trying to travel just plugs it in and gets infected. Oh, my goodness. This is terrifying because the first thing you look for when you get to the airport is how to plug in and charge a battery or whatever, you know? So what do we need to be looking for? Uh, what are the signs that may indicate that a USB port has been tampered with or hacked or is just bad? So the best thing to do is to actually get it did like 10 or $20, a little charging device, and just charge your own devices. Don't use those ports, because the reality is these ports are in the open. They're very easy and very simple for an attacker to install malware on them. And the unfortunate reality is uh, they can't be trusted. So I, I know people don't like to hear this, that, hey, charge your phone before you go to the airport, bring your own charging station. And then if you do have to charge, Use a plug that plugs into the wall, but don't use USB plugs or don't use the pre plugs that are there already. Oh my goodness, you have just changed so many things. I have one of those portable charging devices in a drawer at home. Exactly. I am taking it out of the drawer today and I'm going to learn how to use it because it's just been sitting there. You carry it with you all the time, yeah? Oh my word. Okay, thank you so much. What other threats, very quickly, what we, uh, should we be worried about when we're traveling, specifically in the airports? They're not super high tech, but the other big one is going through security. We have seen so many cases where uh, people have their cell phones, their laptops, their passports, they put it through security, and then they go through a security line, they get held up, and somebody either deliberately or accidentally grabs their bag. So the trick is you want to have one person go through first, and then once that person is through, then you send your bags through so they can meet it at the other end of security just to make sure somebody doesn't inadvertently take your bag. And also, as silly as it sounds, we've seen a lot of cases on airplanes where people are rushed to get off the airplane and they grab the wrong bag. So you want to go in and put like a special marking or do one of those geotagging uh, from Mac where you can actually go in and actually track and locate your bag. So now all of a sudden, if you're on the plane, and your bag leaves the plane, you get a notice and you know somebody took your bag accidentally. Ah, oh my goodness, such good information. Travel safety one-on-one, -on -one, 101 I should say, right here for us yeah. today. You have opened our eyes to a lot of new things to think about. Eric Cole, thank you so much.